I'm polishing my machine, I always had to use a, a squeeze bottle and shake it up and squirt out some polish. But there's two disadvantages to that. One is that I am tied down to the polisher. I always had to be there. The second is I waste a lot of cerium, which is pretty expensive stuff. So the solution I came up with was to build this programmable slurry pump. Today I'm going to build a slurry pump using a dual timer. This is a GH48S dual timer and a, a little pump, aquarium pump for dosing pump. It's a peristaltic. It runs off 12 volts DC. Uh, this timer, it's a dual timer. The uh, You can program it for for tenths of a second up to hours on either side. On the left side is how long you wait between times, uh, turn on times, and the time on the, on the right side is how long you want it to, to be on. So this is, this is a great pump. It works real nice. You can get these on eBay for well under $20, I think. And the uh, pump you can get for, I think it's like seven or $8 on eBay. Here's a simple circuit diagram. Um, the transformer, 12 volt transformer, and the power both run into terminal 2 and uh, 7. This is the diagram for the, uh, the socket that this plugs into. And the, the DC output from the transformer runs through terminals 8 and 5. Um, normally open and then it closes uh, for the timing cycle. Very simple. Here's the DH48S wired up. I've got my switch that'll stop the pump. Here's my transformer and my little peristaltic pump. And um, I have to uh, mount this sideways in my box because the uh, socket on the back is wider uh, in this direction than it is this direction. So if I want to put it sideways, um, I don't have any interference with the lid of the box. Here are the parts put into the box. Notice that the clip and the socket had to be put in sideways with the timer because it was such a tight fit. So this is my completed uh, slurry pump. Um, actually the hard, hardest thing I had to do was uh, cut out the hole for this timer. Actually, probably should have used a little bit thicker box. This box is two inches thick and I had a little bit of trouble of getting it to fit in here. But I did and uh, this is my pump. Um, the, um, uh, I use uh, eighth inch uh, PVC um, tubing and I cut off the uh, ends at an angle so they these go in real easy to plug in and uh, just take a couple of these like so pretty simple and then just turn the pump on and, and it'll pump on through now um, for, for my slurry I've got this old uh, stir and uh, had it years ago it's uh, just a magnetic stir and I've got a magnetic stir in this in this bottle here with a hole in the top for From a, keep the cerium in suspension. And that's all there is to it, really. And 
see the slurry coming through there. Um, it, uh, when you're when you're finished uh, using this pump, you need to uh, run, flush water through it, um, or the cerium can actually uh, settle out in the tubing. So you want to make sure you flush it out when you're finished. So with this pump, you can program exactly how much polish you want to deliver, how often, and how much. When I do little optics, I can set the timer to deliver 0.1 or 0.2 seconds every 15 seconds or so, and and at that rate, I could run like six or eight hours using only about a teaspoon of cerium powder.